There is a will. I think also there is a way. And the task for the leaders in these next few weeks and months is to show people that the world came together in 2009, that it came together in pursuit of a cause that is morally right, but also for our economy long term. Poor communities need an agreement that meets their needs. They, they need financing that helps them to, uh, to adapt to and mitigate against rapidly changing climate. And they need voices, like the voices up here, the very powerful voices at real forums, world forums that have the power to change things for everybody's benefit. We, we stand at an exciting point here where if we get the next few weeks and months right, we'll unlock a clean green revolution. The future will be better. This is a business opportunity, an opportunity for civil society, an opportunity for the youth of the world to see this is the time we are going to solve environmental challenges, build new platforms of global collaboration, and work together in a way that's fit for purpose for the 21st century. Every time has a, an issue which seems to be the defining moment in that generation's fight. And for this generation, it's climate change. Yeah. And the reason for that isn't because it's a new issue, isn't because it's something we're just realizing about, but it's because suddenly the science is incontrovertible. If you look at where young people are in this country, that this last fall we, see, we saw a huge increase in civic participation. Youth turned out and voted in record numbers in the polls. And we did that because I think young people intuitively understand the interconnection between all of these issues and the interconnection of our generation, the most diverse generation in American history, that these issues of between jobs, justice, and climate really are our future. The science of climate change is unequivocal, it's clear, it's compelling. Uh, there is an overwhelming consensus in the scientific community that uh, global warming is well underway, the burning of fossil fuels by humans is uh, driving uh, dramatic changes in our climate, and then if we do not act swiftly, that we are in great peril of harming the ability of this planet to sustain life as we know it. For a lot of rich nations, when they have to make decisions, it's, they are making decisions because it's a life, lifestyle choice they have to make. For us in the, develop, in the least developed nations, we are talking about a choice of life and death. Bottom line here is yes, it is true. Those that have been most responsible for the crisis must carry the greater share of the burden. But we also have to recognize that we either all come out of this on the right side of history and having saved the planet, or we all go down together. The world is simply losing its ability to provide for our needs. It starts here, today. You're a member of Team Earth. Get off the bench and into the game.